Almighty God, we come to you with broken hearts over what's happening all over the world by the spread of coronavirus. Even though it is a shock to us, it is no surprise to you because as God omniscient, you know everything from beginning to end and the end from the beginning. We fall prostrate before you, confessing our utter helplessness and misery. Holy God, we worship you as the God of love. We worship you as the God of mercy. We worship you as the God of grace. We pray for your intervention at this critical hour. Forgive us for worshipping science and technology instead of you, our creator. Forgive us our idols of greed and lust. Forgive us our self-centered life. Forgive us our evil thoughts, unkind words, and corrupt deeds. Forgive us our ungodly systems which allow the rich become richer but let the poor become poorer. Forgive us our neglect of charity and our stinginess in giving to the have-nots. Forgive us our lack of brotherly love towards our fellow men. Forgive us our pride, haughtiness, and rebellious attitude. Forgive us for electing many corrupt men and women to rule over us. Forgive us for allowing cultural differences to divide us. Forgive us our better than thou attitude. Have mercy on us, O oh God. We know that you are generous in forgiveness. Father God, in spite of numerous preventive measures and sophisticated treatment facilities, the national leaders worldwide have come to their wit's end. We pray for those affected with the virus. We remember how Jesus healed all those who came to him with their sicknesses and infirmities. We believe that he is an unchanging healer. Be with the medical personnel who treat the patients. Send your healing virtue to flow as a stream into our communities. Have mercy on the innocent children and the weak elderly who are vulnerable to such diseases. Dear Lord, we pray for the bereaved families and friends of thousands who became victims to this virus. Their loss is unbearable and their sorrow inextinguishable. You are the God of all comfort. We remember how Jesus wept when his friend Lazarus died, even though he had known that he would resurrect him. Dear Father, speak peace to the hearts and homes of these dear families. Only your presence can fill the vacuum in their lives, O oh God. Father God, we read in the Bible how you stopped plagues when people cried to you with tears of repentance. Help all of us, Indians and non-Indians, to turn to you the only true and living God at this hour. Let our cities and towns get rid of liquor shops, brothels, gambling centers and the like. Forgive us who underpay the laborers and exploit their helplessness. Maybe their cries have reached your ears. You are the God of the poor. As a nation we are sinning against you. 
as a world we are disobeying your commandments our cup of iniquity is overflowing we have mistaken your patience please lord do not punish us according to our sins we beg you to turn away your anger from us forgive us christians who have failed to be the light in the society forgive us and heal our land o oh god forgive our children and youngsters who disobey the parents and rebel against the elders we pray that you soften their hearts towards submission lest they come under your curse dear father we remember the prophetic words jesus spoke over 2000 years ago to his disciples that famines plagues and earthquakes in various places would be on the increase as a sign of end times these days are already on us the bible your word says that these are prelude to the second coming of your son jesus strengthen us with your grace o god to withstand these difficult times and stay prepared for his return by believing on him for salvation and eternal life thank you o god for hearing this prayer as inadequate as it is do not delay the answer we once again fall at your feet worshiping you as god omnipresent god omnipotent and god omniscient in the name of jesus we offer this prayer let it be so thank you o god for hearing this prayer as inadequate as it is do not delay the answer we once again fall at your feet worshiping you as god omnipresent god omnipotent and god omniscient in the name of Jesus.